G'day everyone and welcome to another episode on the Rustic server. You just caught me in the middle of an aerial battle between me and some phantoms. There was three, I think I've killed one. That's another hit. Oh, I missed. Oh, here we go. <laughs> you got, they called back up. How are you everyone? Today we're going to be going into the nether and as you know last week we built a, a storage room for the gold farm. Today we're going to build the piglin bartering farm that will go with it. So I got spider online at the moment, he's hiding in the wall over here if you look carefully. I may have buried him but that's okay. Now I've got all the materials together for with, with me already and we're going to just get, pretty much head straight into this, um, into this time lapse. I've got I'm just going to build up like a bit of a safety platform first and we're going to build it out here so we've got a bit of an area a big nice open area and down here we've been just gathering a few piglins a few barter berries they're the ones we're going to be bartering with so we've got a few of them in there now we're going to have about 20 in the end i think there's about eight in there at the moment so we've still got to gather some more and then all the way down here if i just hurry through here we have this big wide open area and it gives us plenty of room down here to, to build. So it's going to be basically built off of this bridge here and uh, we'll get rid of this bit here. And um, all right, so we're going to build on the edge of this platform here and I'm just going to basically build like a bit of a safety sort of platform for us to build on. This will be one block below where the floor is going to be, of course. So that way when it's all finished, we can just build straight on top of this. And this will just sort of make sure that if we if we have to break blocks or anything like that uh, while we're out here, then we'll be able to, well, then it will fall on here and it's not going to fall straight into lava. Also, if we fall off while we're building, which is probably going to happen at some point, we're not as likely to fall in lava either. Now, we will have some fire resistance potions on us just in case because that's the smartest thing we can do. But for now, I'll just start building this up and I'll see you in a moment. I forgot to mention that we were going to be going into a time lapse here, but I'll see you after the time lapse. Of the time lapse, I simply just forgot to press record. Um, so you can in a minute you're gonna see a completed room and a bit more. So I hope you enjoy. And I'm sorry I didn't press record for the rest of the time lapse. 
we have finished the piglin bartering farm. Spider and I got on. Uh, Billy Bob came on as well and gave us a bit big hand on it. Uh, basically, we've got a bunch of piglins up here. We throw them gold through this chest up here, which, as you can see, and they just start trading away. And as they trade, it goes along there. Now, this design is by Logical Geek Boy. It is an incredible design, and it's extremely easy to make, to be honest with you. The most expensive part is the storage system because you've got all the hoppers and you've got the, all the um, chests. But to be honest with you, it's worth it for every bit of it. I have already taken an absolute ton of stuff out of here already. And as you can see, we got Blackstone just coming out of our bottoms. Um, and Gravel, I've worked out that pretty much from like one and a half chests of iron blocks, We've got around about 14 double chests of gravel alone. I'm oh, sorry, 14, uh, 14 shulker boxes, so seven double chests, I apologize. And even like the quartz. Now, I've taken most of this already back, uh, but you can already see that we've still got at least a double chest, maybe, maybe three, almost three chests or three shulkers worth of quartz as well. And then, of course, iron. We don't worry too much about iron because we have the iron farm, but it's still nice to have. Soul sand is always fun as well, I've taken a whole heap of all this stuff back, but you can see all of this stuff and, you know, fire charges are always fun. Uh, I've got basically, uh, I think if I remember correctly, it was about one and a half shulker boxes of obsidian, which is going to come in handy. Heaps of crying obsidian as well. And then you just get potions galore and you get soul speed books, you get soul speed three. I've, I've emptied most of these over this side, soul speed one, soul speed two and soul speed three. With Soul Speed books, I've taken some to Bebop's bookshop and I've basically given him a bit of an offer so he can buy some of those off me if he doesn't already have them. But I will let him, I'll let you know how I go with that. In the meantime, uh, I built this, started building this room. I started off with the floor and I was quite happy with the floor and I thought that'll make quite a nice roof as well, especially if I indent it. I'm quite happy with the roof, I think it looks really good. Uh, I'd love to know your opinion down in the description. Uh, then I sort of got carried away and started building these walls now the walls took a bit quite a lot of work to get right and you know the anvils there and that's quite an expensive wall um a lot of the stuff that i needed for this to be honest with you um was uh like especially with the dripstone i ran out and i had to get some of that from charon so a big thank you to charon for that and then i sort of while we were building this uh i was originally going to use red nether brick instead of this i didn't have enough nether wart so we we're just sort of growing it on the side I changed my mind to use nether wart instead, nether wart blocks. But then we thought, you know what, we don't have a nether wart farm. So then I made the room come out here as well. So now once you finish in here, you can just come through this little hallway and I made the room come out here and you now have nether wart and then you just dig it up and replant it and things like that. And we <laughs> don't have to worry about nether wart, I'll tell you that much. We've already got over a shulker box full and we're going to be just fine, I think. Now up here, you notice that you don't see the rest of the nether, even though the root, these don't connect all the way to the roof and things like that. So what I've done there is I've literally just used a bit of concrete, black concrete, just to cover up the back of it all. Basically, all the backs are covered in concrete, and that way, oopsie. Yeah, so all these back bits are covered in concrete, which you can sort of see there in the light just behind my head. And that way it just sort of gives the impression that you're more or less just looking into a bit of a void if you will and uh i just thought that was quite a nice little touch but yeah so this is pretty much done this room is obviously complete because it's fully surrounded things like that now this bit here you'll notice there's no ends on it so it looks a little bit ugly still um what i've what we've got up here is up there there's a portal that that spider and i got early when I built the iron farm, the uh, spider and I found this, the pillager outpost here. So we sort of marked it off. So this is our little uh, portal for that. So at that, at some point I need to build some sort of staircase going up there or design, decide how it's going to come from here to get up to there. So I haven't built this wall in yet because I haven't decided that yet. And I need to also have another chat with spider and just find out if there's any other farms he wants to put in the nether because I figure we might as well keep them all close together. And that way we can just sort of use this and just keep expanding from here um obviously we've got the tunnel this tunnel goes all the way in a straight line to our portal so it's just straight down there it's not too far it's only about four or five rockets so what we're going to work on now is um i've got my my redstone shulker boxes lined up here so this is my redstone shulker box the one i carry around with me in my ender chest at all times 
um, and I want more. So pretty much I've got three, uh, four, four more. Oh, sorry, three more set up here, um, and then with this one I'll have four. So the idea is I'll have one on me at all times, and then the rest of them will just sit in here ready to go. So if I finish a project, I can just sort of leave this one behind and grab the next one and go straight into it. But what we're going to do is we're going to actually build a bit of a loader, and it's it's quite a simple concept. And I'll give you a quick tutorial here. But basically, if you imagine that's where the shulker box is going to sit, um, if we surround it by hoppers, right, and like so. Now, a chest or a shulker box has 27 slots, and each of these have five. So if you put a different item in each in each one of these slots, um, it'll it'll filter down into there. Then all you need to do is have a chest above it or a double chest above it that holds all those items, and you can have heaps and heaps and heaps of these items. And basically that'll fill up to 25 slots of the 27 slot chest. Now if we look in, back in the shulker box, you'll notice that we got two slots of sticky pistons, three slots, slots of, of observers and things like that. So we don't even need a full 25 slots. So if I build this off to the side over there, which we're gonna, well, we're gonna build it just out here. We're gonna clear a little room out in a moment. And what's gonna happen is when I start filling these slots up, because the chest will come in looking something like this where all the slots are already filled it'll automatically draw out just what it needs and then it will fill it back up which basically means when i finish a project i can just come back and let's say hypothetically it was here i go come back i go boom and then that will automatically fill itself up and once it's filled i just pop it back off take it with me and i'm ready to go again or in this case i'll probably just chuck it back in here so that's what we're gonna get into now. So I'll clear out this room and I'll be back with you in a moment. <sighs> Typical. So Spidered <laughs> is obviously online because <laughs> uh, I've dug out this tunnel and I just went to go grab myself a new drink and I'm in an obsidian box. Thank you again, Spidered, always fun. <laughs> no, I do love it. All right, so while I dig up the rest of this obsidian, well, let's talk about what we've got here. So, as you know, this is the spider farm, the X spider XP farm down the bottom here. And what we have here is just branching off of the tunnel here because I've basically run out of room out here. Um, hi, Billy. Looks like she's come to steal something and fallen asleep. Shh. Here we are watching a very tired, very sleepy Billy. Having a snooze. She sleeps with her eyes open. How strange. Anyway, so <laughs> we've run out of room. Uh, we've got the whole room filled up here. This is all mining, so we don't want to go into there. Uh, and although I could go up here, then it's going to be on a weird angle on the stairs and all that. I don't really want to do that. So I basically decided that the only space we have down here is this spot here. Now I wanted to keep this close to my storage room as po as close to my storage room as possible. Because when it comes to restocking this, um, everything's already down here. So let's use my redstone one for an example. If I need to make pistons, I need to come down here. I'm going to have to get iron. I'm going to have to get cobblestone. I'm going to have to get wood. And bring and then craft up the pistons and bring it here and drop it off. So what I've done, I've basically made six tunnels here. They're all dug out already. And uh, that'll give me basically six different loading bays. So... This first one here on the left, this is going to be the one we're working on today. And this is going to be for the redstone boxes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically expand this tunnel out. Same design as we got here. Um, I'll probably just chop this out here um, and just continue it on. So once we've got this done, we'll have a nice tunnel down here that'll look exactly the same as that one. And then it will branch off on each side on all these four sides. Oh, sorry, on these two sides um, into these six different tunnels. And then from there, we'll go up above them and we'll start doing all the um, stuff for the loaders. Oh, she woke up. She disappeared. Oh, now she's over there. Now, once we've got that sorted, we'll have the uh, the redstone one done today. And then we can start looking at the other things we got in here. So I've got a few other boxes that I always carry around with me. Um, and some of them are easier than others, but like this one here, which is my storage world box. This is for when I'm making up, say, storage systems, things like that. So I've got chests, I've got hoppers. This is um, like slabs for me to put my redstone on uh, for the sorting system. Uh, these are composters to slow down the lag and all that sort of stuff, ice. 
Um, there should be some water in there, like water buckets, things like that as well. But uh, we'll do all that sort of thing. And uh, then I've also got the useful box. I haven't set that one up yet, but that's basically usually full of useful things um, in general. And then I might even have one like even simpler than that. Might just have one just for fireworks and things like that. So when I when I you know when I've got half a fireworks one, I just go plonk and it starts filling itself back up, and I just grab another one from it and go. So that's what we're going to do now. So I'm going to hop in a real quick time lapse, finish building out this tunnel, and I'll be back with you shortly. So as you saw in that time lapse, we've got a lot of work done. So now instead of this just being a straight tunnel, it comes down here. It's all the same sort of style. And we just get these little bays in here. Now I've set up six for now, but I can obviously expand it further that way if need be. Now at the moment, none of these are felt set up with their filters. But the idea is that when I, when I finish with a redstone job or something like that, I'll come here and I'll just basically put it there. It will fill up with only these items and they'll all go until they're full or until these hoppers and that above have, uh, have run out. So it is important to make sure these are full, all quite heavily stocked. That is a small downside with this, but when you go through a lot of redstone like I do, then yeah. So you come down this way a bit further and you go up these stairs and all of a sudden this is the top of it. So this is again, same six bays and you can see it. It's nice and compact, pretty simple. And all you really need is you just need the five hoppers pointing into one one um, shulker box, essentially one spot for a shulker box. So you might have noticed those four pointing inwards, and there's this one on top. And then all I can, then I can basically just fill them up with whatever I want. And obviously, there's you got uh, 54 slots on here, um, so I'll probably just go one full row of each item, and then leave the last row empty. Or I might leave, might like sort of double up on it. Now, if you look at say the my redstone box, for instance. I've got three slots just for observers. I've got two slots for sticky pistons. Um, and then you've got some, a couple of slots for redstone dust and things like that. So I'll, when it comes to those, I'll basically double up on the slots for them. And um, also, like I've said before, earlier on, there is um, these. this will give you 25 slots because each hopper has got five. So there is technically, like, you know, you, you have to sort of double up anyway. So you have to assume that, like, for instance, the piston one and the observer one, for instance, I might just have one one chest that's got half that's half filled with just those items. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna head right now and set up set up all these filters and start doing a little bit of stock in them. Um, and I'll show you how it all works. I'll be right back. That was one heck of a grind. Three days AFK at my witch farm. Hours upon hours of crafting, but we finally made it. Pretty much every one of these hoppers, all these hoppers are full. And pretty much all of these chests, there's a few, you can see I still need some pistons. I've actually run out of cobblestone, believe it or not. 
Um, but most of these pit chests are all completely full. I I don't have many dispensers. I've got a, got a bit of a plan for that one. And as you can see, all of these are pretty much full. Now, this is Spider Watermelon's redstone box that I'm making for him. And as you can see, I've got it all set up. So all we do need to do now is plonk it here. And if we just watch it, you'll notice that the five items are all filling up at the same time. So you've got one item coming from each of the five hoppers. It'll keep going once these items are all filled. Like now, you'll notice that they'll swap over to a new item and they'll keep on going. It's basically filling up at five times hopper speed. Now, I've got another one set up over here that I've already done. These chests are all basically filled with rockets. Um, it's been used a little bit already. So if I stick my... This is my flight box that I keep in my... Um, in my inner chest and as you can see they're going up five at a time just bang 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 doesn't take very long at all so i can leave those shulker boxes there and they'll just keep doing their thing and then i can come back to them in a little while once they're done all right so it's been a couple of minutes and as you can see every single item in every single slot fully stocked up and that red box redstone box is now ready to hit the road and it'll be the same with my rocket box that would have filled up a bit quicker because there wasn't as much to go and and off we go we stick them back in our ender chest or whatever um, and in this case I'll give this one to spider as a gift now if you come up here as I've shown you before you got all the different storage areas for the rockets you can just see there is just every shot every one of them is completely chockers um, or at least pretty close um, I will restock those in a little while and then all these you know, you can see that there's a few that I still need to do. This one's really good because that's pretty much full. Just a few redstone blocks missing. This one's pretty pretty empty. But I've still got a lot more work to do to get all these stocked up. And I've got the bees working overtime um, upstairs. And they are just going non-stop. And that's another one that I got from my witch farm. It was loads and loads and loads of bottles, like empty bottles, glass bottles. And if we come up here... Um, I'm not sure if I've actually shown this on camera yet. This is something Spider had actually set up. Just a little bee sanctuary in here. Uh, this is like the breeding bays. So you basically bre you breed the bees, the babies pop out, and you stick a hive here, and they end up going in the hive. It's actually a very clever design. I think that he came up with that one himself. And then this is just a standard bee or a honey farm. All the empty bottles, as you can see, there's heaps of them up here. And... Then the honey goes in here. I just basically take out the honey, turn it into honey blocks, chuck in the leftover ones, and empty bottles can just go back into one of these chests. And most of these chests are almost completely filled. So I reckon a couple more days at the witch farm and these will all be filled up completely. And then once I've got them, all I need to do is just go back down the stairs and come back up here, only to look through, find the one that has the honey in it, and plonk the honey in and away I go and as time goes by you know those will all be get those will get filled up as we go but just as a bit of an indicator on how much AFK I have done at my witch farm all of these are filled with gunpowder from the witch farm and then if I go to my gunpowder chest these are all completely filled up with gunpowder and if that's not enough my little super smelter here is powered entirely by sticks that have come from my witch farm and every one of these chests is completely filled all the way up. Uh, maybe not that one because it's been used. But they're all pretty much completely filled up with sticks. And you can just see it goes from there to there to there to there. To, and just keeps on going forever. So that's my fuel source from now on. So in between episodes, I'm going to start stocking all these up. And I need to get something sorted for these dispensers. I'm going to build a little, a little skeleton farm. But that's going to have to wait for another episode. But sadly, that is all I have time for today. So if you did like what you see, please make sure to hit that like button. And if you really liked it, make sure you subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye.